Former governor of Louisiana, Edwin Edwards, will be the star of a new reality show on A&E. So A&E used to have some pretty awesome programming, right? You'd learn about history, and I'm sure they still have the substantive programming, right? Oh, sure. But now they're trying to buy into the reality television, and of course, uh, a corrupt former governor of Louisiana is the ticket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so he served eight years in prison. Eight years in prison. Okay, so they, he's not playing. He's really corrupt. Okay. Money laundering, corruption, yes. Uh, 85 years old. How old is the uh, wife? 34 or 35? She is 35. So she's 50 years his junior. Jeez okay. and Lord mercy. The name of the reality show is The Governor's Wife, okay? So it's, it's, it's focusing on his wife and, and, and the fact that they fell in love while he was in prison. They oh, were yeah. uh, pen pals, okay? Oh, yeah. So we have a video showing you who this uh, woman is, and uh, we'll discuss a little more. Federal prison and home detention behind him now. Former Louisiana Governor Edwin Edwards' first public appearance with his fiancée, Trina Grimes Scott, at his side. Edwards took his first steps toward a new life. Uh, enjoying my new life with my uh, next wife. Every time I think that I can't be amazed more, he proves me wrong. Okay, so I'm against corrupt politicians. I'm glad he went to jail, got no use for him, etc. But you know, He's 85, and now he's kind of boss. Mm -hmm. Like, now, I've, he's, he did his time, okay? Hey, look, if I'm 85 and a 35-year-old wants to get with me, and she's pretty hot, man. She is hot. I just so, take some of that corruption money and put it to good use. So I, I like to use this story as a cautionary tale for women who don't want to get an education and who don't want to pursue a career and be independent, okay? If you want to live a luxurious lifestyle, you got to fuck that dude. Oh, damn. No, 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 let's keep it real. I'm not by, I, I don't know if she's You think in she's a gold digger? Love. Really? Really? Okay, okay, right. <laughs> the guy's in jail. And it, by the way, even though he served eight years in prison for corruption, he's still very wealthy, right? Yeah. Which, well, gee, I wonder how that happened. Yeah, so, so of course, she knew what she was doing, okay? Anyway, like, listen, it's not worth it. Be independent. Don't, don't be a gold digger, okay? Well, I was talking to Nina Hartley yesterday, you know, legendary porn star. Uh -huh. And she said, well, at that age, because she uh, had a relationship with someone that was that old, sometimes they, it doesn't, you can't even culminate. So she probably doesn't have to put in a lot of work. Uh, but still, it, you have to live with the dude and pretend like you love him. He's a, yeah, okay, so, and he's a bad guy too, that's a whole other thing. But yeah. So, and then part of the reality show is they're uh, also tracking the governor's daughters who are in their 60s. Yeah. They now have a mom who's 35 years old. And one of his daughters, I love this, is 60 years old and an ex-showgirl. Like, you gotta give it to Edwards, man. At least he lived a colorful life. And at least he did corruption in the old days, where like you'd actually take the money and stuff. Not like these skeevy guys now who are like, what, what, what? Everything I do is legal. What, they give me the campaign contributions and then later they pay me a million dollars to be a lobbyist. Mm -hmm. This guy was old school. He came from the old school. He's like, you give me cash, I do you a favor. That's how it works. And when I get out, I marry a hot 35 year old and we do a reality show. Yep. So, and by the way, she said it too. She's like, well, you know, I wanted to experience the lifestyle yeah, that Edwin Edwards. Oh, gee, I wonder if she ain't going there. <laughs> I mean, she ain't going for no brokey broke. You know, look, if, if you're willing to go through that, if that's what you genuinely want, that's fine. I just, I don't understand women that are into that. No, I hear you. I understand guys who are into it. No, of course, <laughs> which is why I don't blame him. It's not his fault, you know? Hey, it's Jesus, you're 85, okay? Now, you get out of prison, this lady comes in. But now, look, she's after your money. She's after your money, okay? <laughs> yeah. And then you gotta worry about your daughters who are ex-showgirl and such. <laughs> uh, do you marry her? If, if I have enough money that my daughter and my family are taken care of, of course. Yeah. I totally make it happen. Yeah. You'd be crazy not to. Like, right? Exactly. But, uh, can we talk about the marriage aspect of it? Like, why are guys dumb enough to marry? Like, you don't have to marry her. That's, I think that's what I wouldn't do, yeah. I yeah. totally let her live in and move in with her. And, but married, I'm like, I'm 85. Like, I know, but, but that's the deal. Like, she, the, yeah. she's, not gonna, she's not dumb. She's not going to let you off the hook. Maybe I tell her, like, hey, I'm going to leave you this much money. Just hang in there. Oh, like, she's I'm, not going to take that, <laughs> is that? No, no. She, like, she no. might. Look, she might give you a little tasty taste, okay? But you're gonna have to buy the cow. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my sense of it. She doesn't look like she's uh, that gullible.